Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to format the text in the book and quill. So if we open this right here you can see that I have bold text and I also have coloured text which is underlined. So I'm going to show you how to do these things and more in the books. So if you don't know how to make a book and quill, well it's real simple. You take one piece of leather and three pieces of paper and that makes a book and then the book with a feather and an ink sack will make a book and quill. And so when you have one of those you just simply select it and right click it to open and it will bring up a page like this except it will be blank. Um, so the way that we do the formatting we can type like uh, hello like this um, if we put in a special character we will be able to change the color and the different properties of that text. Now the way that you get this character um, is by copying it onto your clipboard because you can't actually directly input it into the book. So if you were to open up notepad and then press down alt on your keyboard and then two and then one a special character would appear. So you could go and do that now. Your number pad must be turned on and it won't work with the two and one above the letter keys. It has to be from the number pad and that will create a special character. Now if you highlight that character and press Ctrl and C that will copy it to the clipboard and then you come back into Minecraft and you press Ctrl and V and I already have it on my clipboard and um, you'll see here there is a white zero and seven which actually is quite hard to see on the background and it's flashing and it's basically waiting for your input to format the text. So let's press E which is for yellow and type yellow and that is actually really difficult to see. Let's go back there and change that. So now I've deleted the text yellow. When I press delete it's actually going to go back to that 0 and 7 and we can input a different um, number or letter. So let's press C which is for red and you can see there um, that we now have red text. And I can do this again. I can press Control V, bring up the 0 and 7 and this time let's go with the number 2. I forget what one that is. I think it's blue. No, it's green. So we'll type green like that. So that's how you change the colors and there are 16 different colors that you can do in total. There'll be a full list of them um, in the description box of this video um, but there is 0 to 9 and then there is A, B, C, D, E and F and so you simply uh, press Control V and then input one of those numbers or letters and this one is gold so We'll type gold like that and then you've changed the color of your text. So we know how to change the color of the text but there is other formatting that we can do as well. For example you see at the top here we have bold text and underlined text as well. So to do this let's start a new line and what we would do to remove all formatting that we've previously done is put the special character in and press R. So that's R for reset and what you'll see happens here um, I'll type in reset there you can see it is still gold. So one thing to realize is that the reset doesn't apply to the color of the text itself. So the way that we would reset that back is actually just to press 0 which is for black and it would go back to the default. So black is the default one and basically rather than telling it to reset to default you just simply define that it should use that color text again. So let's go down and let me show you all of the different um, formatting that you can do. So I'm going to input the special character, I'm going to press K and this is where you get the spinning text like that which looks really cool and you can also go for bold so now you'll see um, I pressed the wrong thing there <laughs> now let's go with L, L is bold so let's type in bold you'll see that the spinning text is now bold so where I've added the bold formatting it's actually applied it to the one that we had previously so this is where I would use the reset so I'm going to press R after I've put in the special character and this time I'm going to press L for bold and now when I type bold you'll see that it's just going to be bold text like that so there are other ones that you can do as well. There is M for strike through. And you can see we've still got the bold because I haven't reset. Uh, we can also do an underline as well, like this. And that has the strike through again because I haven't reset anything. And there, last of all, is italic, which is zero. And again, oh, that's spelt wrong. Again, it's got all of the formatting there together. So you can actually use um, all of these together. The one that I don't have there is the spinning text so that is K so let's input the special character and press K and then it will be spinning as well like that and um, so there is a lot that you can do with this you combine all of those formatting examples that I've showed you there um, with the colors as well and so just to go over them one more time um, the spinning text is the letter K the bold text is the letter L the strike through is M the underline is N and the italic text is zero and then to reset you just press R. So every time you input that special character and then you press R. Now one thing to note about the reset is that it resets everything. So let's say you've done what we've done here. We've inputted bold 
then we've done strike and we want to get rid of strike and just have bold you would have to reset and then do bold again so that's the way it works it's not going to undo the last one it's going to undo everything and so that is pretty much everything there is to know about formatting books if you look in the description box down below there will be the full reference of all the colors and the values that you have to put into them there will also be the special character itself in case you can't press alt and 21 to get it to appear in a notepad so you could highlight that and press ctrl c and then come into minecraft and press ctrl v and you can format your books so there is one last thing to point out here when you sign the book you can't input the special thing right here the special character if i press ctrl v nothing happens so you can't format uh, the title of your book which is a little bit of a shame because they do have support for making titles a different color using the MBT data uh, but other than that that is it for this tutorial I hope you've enjoyed it if you want to watch some more of my videos there are links on the screen and in the description box so as always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time